want to quote me? Then start writing. Here goes a poem. If I want poetry, I'll read some Konopnitska. In Śródmieście, the bastards went on strike. And that's something I don't like. So I grab an axe in my hand. This is a serious story. Workers deserve some respect. Shut the fuck up and write. I grab an axe in my hand and... Victor, give me a rhyme. Their decapitation will bring it to an end. Spot on. W.S. I expected more of you. I thought the press lived on that kind of scoop. The press has its limitations, W.S. But we journalists at least try to make a change, unlike many others. What was that about? Don't worry. It's just a shitty situation. Do you want to come by for a drink? I can tell you all about it then. Sure, lead the way. Well, speak. W.S.? Seriously? How lame is that? Anyway. The sewers in the neighborhood were commissioned by Neumeyer, but the workers just dug it all up, and now they're on strike, or wandering around. And when I send my ships after them, more flood in. Do something before I kill them all. Wasn't for you. I didn't catch that. It was going to be so great. With the sewers, people would stop pissing on my door, but they just keep digging. Why are the workers on strike? Neumeyer, their employer, fired a few of them, so the guys got pissed and started a riot. Maybe I could talk to them. Be my guest. Those that were fired are hanging out in my bar and drinking. And those who still have jobs, uh, you can find them in the southern part of the district. Follow those trenches they dug. You won't miss them. So who is that Neumeyer? He came from Germany. Decent fellow. They say he's got some experience in that sort of enterprise. Since when do you regard decent people? Since the sounds of construction keep banging in my ears. The guy has an office on Poznańska Street. You'll see a sign. I'll see what I can do. Good. Whatever makes them go back to work. Whether you do some hocus pocus or send a demon after one of them. I don't mind. How about we come up with some buddy names for us? Great idea. I'll leave it up to you. Man, I won't let you down. Hey, Wower, stop making faces and buy another round. We need to drink to Neumeyer breaking his stupid face. And where do I get the dough? Besides, I ain't a woo... wow, wooer. Easy there, or you're going to pop a vein. Let's get some shots to warm us up. Although you've got your lady love for that, right? Go fuck yourself. What do you want? Oi, Janusz, we've got company. Is he buying or just making a fuss? I'm impressed with the male bonding that you apparently share. It seems so enduring, magnificent. Oi, Janusz, is he like making advances at us? <sighs> Too much beard for my taste. Marionic? If he buys us vodka, we can cuddle. Vodka? With working people? Any time, any place, and with respect. It's on me. In that case, all is fine and dandy, my dear friend. Wait, Mediatic, wait, it's too much. I mean, too much... 
Magna? What? Who are you? Really? I'm a socialist. The proletariat carries the weight of the world on its shoulders and deserves respect for that. Good man! It's our blood, sweat and tears building these streets. They are giving us this... Yeah. I wonder who's gonna dig these shitholes now. Maybe Neumeyer will roll up the sleeves of his fancy getup and start grubbing around in the mud. What do you care? You get a new trumpet and won't even tell your friend who she is. Keep your trap shut. We're not alone. Why? He's a grown man. I bet he goes to a body house too. Ask anything. Don't mind, Janusz. You gentlemen should know it best. Why do these works take so long? Because it's poorly organized. And it all got fucked up somehow. Managing people requires some skills, sir. It doesn't just happen. It's all so slapdash all the time. Why were you let go? Just some bullshit. Nothing to talk about. Doesn't matter why. The point is, we were fired. And now there's a strike. But of course it matters. Just between you and me, the vodka is coming. All right, all right. He fired us because he's a kraut and a scumbag. Imagine a ban on drinking at work. What's next? What else are they going to take away from us? So Neumeyer fired those who drank, and there was so many that all the work went downhill. Now there's a strike. It's good that the lads went on strike. Very good. A strike? Sounds serious. Well, after the layoffs, the lads got together and said they wouldn't do double the work. And it all happened thanks to Rudkowski. Here's our leader, a good lad. Yeah, Rudkowski's an angel. You're always scowling at him. Look at him! He picked himself up a little sweetie pie. He doesn't care about the workers' cause no more. Shut your pie hole. There's no gal. So Janusz's new friend, is he ashamed of her or what? How should I know? Back in the day we always knew when one of the guys had a new girl. And this one? <laughs> Won't breathe a word. I told you to shut your mouth, didn't I? He just keeps boiling, I don't know why. Maybe she's ugly. She's not ugly. I just don't want to talk about it, that's all. He's fucking sensitive like that. As promised, vodka on me. Enjoy. And what is this? There, Mrs. Rutkowska for sweet Janusz. Janusz, the bastard has swiped something from your coat! I'm only touching. You scumbag! After my fist touches your face, even your own mother won't recognize you.
Well, this is negotiation, so let's negotiate. You won't finish the job without us. That's the truth. Mr. Neumeyer? Nicht jetzt. How many times do I have to tell you? This can't be done. It doesn't work like that. That's not how you do Geschäfte. Listen, sir, we won't give up. Either you can take back the men you fired, or you can say goodbye to the workers you've got left. You can build these sewers yourself, you lousy capitalist asshole. Rude! This is just gutter talk, not negotiations. The gutter is quite fitting, actually. You're building the sewers, after all. Ah. It's a joke. Who are you, and what do you want? A friend asked me to take a look at the strike. Strike? What strike? The strike is over. The negotiations are through, and everyone goes back to work. No. Lads, the strike's still on. We're not touching the work. It's knockoff time until further notice. Maybe now you can spare me a moment? Not here. Follow me, please. I bet you regret those layoffs now, don't you? Better hair. I deal with that kind of aggression every day. I got used to it. Zeitest Geld, what brings you here? Why did the workers go on strike? Sir, I fired those who drank at work and everyone suddenly went mad. You Polen, I don't understand you. It's time to bring this country into the 20th century. In Germany, it's unthinkable to drink vodka at work. So, what's the story with those layoffs? I don't like inaction. So when I set new rules and people kept drinking, I gave them an ultimatum. And how much time did you give them to adapt to the new rules? What do you mean? There's action and there's reaction. I set the new rules on Monday, and on Wednesday, I let them go. What you did was stupid. Are you standing up for these drunkards? What, are you a socialist? That's not the point. You can't expect these people to change overnight. What do you mean by aggression? I'm talking about that troglodyte, that rude guy. These miscurl. What did he do? He smeared my office windows with shit. Scheiße! I know it was him. I know it. I have no proof, but I know it. Can you imagine that gestank, that stink? I'll get going. I had my reasons, mostly concerning work ethics, but there are always many factors involved. This is kompliziert. You know what it's like. Can I take a moment of your time? Look, Yannick, there's a clown. You want to hear something funny? I'll tell you. Forget it, Rude. Don't waste your breath. No, I'll say it. My sister will end up in the street with five kids, penniless. And there's no way I can help her. Well, do you find it funny? I'm sorry, I didn't know the situation was so serious. How would you know? It's all because of that dickhead Neumeyer. I'll kill that motherfucker. So Neumeyer never tried to find a solution? German Ordnung stifles the proletariat, you might say? That's what it looks like, and that's what we're saying. I can see I'm not the only one who wants to talk to you. I don't like crowds. I'll come back to you later. Do you have another joke to tell? Not this time. I wanted to talk. Go ahead, ask. 
I don't have anything to do anyway. I thought that the Rudeo of yours would go at Neumeyer. You would want to smash Neumeyer's head too, if you were him. He's a good guy, he just does what everyone else feels. What do you mean? His brother-in-law used to work here too. Good lad, but he had an unhealthy relationship with booze, and when he lost his job, he went on a binge. Ruda's sister, Dabrukna, has five kids with him. The youngest is eight months old. Now you understand? We won't start working until the lads go back to work. I wanted to know the story behind those layoffs, from your point of view. The story. The story. Sir, this is all bullshit. That's the whole story. You know that Neumeyer banned drinking at work. He mentioned it. But he suggested it wasn't the only reason. Well, there you go. He said it himself. The cat's out of the bag. The drinking wasn't why he fired those people. Then what was it? I don't care. People end up in the streets, families get deprived of their livelihoods, and that bastard plays the angel. I won't have it. None of us will work until all the boys are back. Are you friends with Mr. Fagin? No, but at least he's trying to cover the issue fairly. What the censorship will do with it is another story, though. Do you know anything more about him? Even if I knew, I wouldn't say. I won't bother you anymore. Have you learned anything? Why do you keep calling me W.S.? Because I want you to remember it. I don't understand. You'll understand. Actually, I wanted to ask you myself about Neumeyer. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours? Fine. Wolfgang Neumeyer. Born 1858, father Klaus, mother Anna, younger son, runs the local branch of his father's empire. What else? He has a reputation as a successful entrepreneur, but I don't think that's valid anymore. He eats dumplings for dinner and doesn't add sugar to his tea. Shoe size 41 and a half. That's quite impressive. Your turn. What do you know? What do you know about the workers? Each one has a powerful personal story. They're furious and joined in solidarity. Either they come out on top, or that Rode guy will rip Neumeyer apart. Anything else? I won't take any more of your time. If you've got anything interesting, you know where to find me. Things people come up with. The telephone.
Hello. Yes. Mr. Neumeyer, calling from the Sadler's workshop about the trimming. Would you like any? This is about the Bucephalus saddle, isn't it? Yes, we talked about the cost yesterday and you were considering ornaments. Have you decided yet? Forgive me, there's a lot going on. I'll take them all. All? Yes. I want it to be full of gold and diamonds. I want it to make the Romanov's Imperial saddles look poor. The price is not an issue. Can you make it happen? Yes, if the price is not an issue, then yes, of course. Goodbye, Mr. Neumeyer. Am I a magician or what? thinking about your sister. I don't want to talk about it. Mr. Neumeyer. Yeah? Deep in your heart you know what's important, and what the right thing to do is. It's the man that counts, not the horse. Yeah, you're right. Meine Herren, listen to me, please. I know some bad words have been said, but I have found a solution. Your Freunde will go back to work. Really? Yeah. I've understood what really matters. You are the most important. Now, everyone can get back to work. Ich verspreche es. Has he lost his mind or what? Gentlemen, it worked. We'll start a union. Done. The wheels are in motion. I'm accepting compliments. I could kiss your forehead. How did you manage to do that? It turned out Neumeyer had a purebred horse. It was worth enough to re-employ all the people he had fired. So he decided to sell it. How generous. And voluntarily, of course. Of course. Believe it or not, I've been quite busy myself. Listen to this. Spirit King and Phantom Prince. Or better yet, Poet and Pilgrim. Get it? You're the poet and I'm the pilgrim because I've traveled a lot? You bet. And fuck that guy with his W.S. So see you around, Pilgrim. You seem happy. What's going on? Saturday. That's what's going on. I'm pretty sure today's not Saturday. Live your life like every day was Saturday. Pilgrim! How glad I am to see you in my humble abode. New style? Some might like it. I'm sorry, I think I'll deal with it some other time. Feel invited. <laughs> 